thanks for calling. Um, I think I had the wrong Skype address. I was trying to call you at Christmas, but um, I've been listening to your um, speaking about education, and one of the points I'd really like to raise okay. is that within the Bible we have a complete and utter education that's not only for physical life, hmm. but for the eternal kingdom. I think that uh, earthly education systems are influenced negatively by politics and caring about what the world thinks. So things like LGBT and, um, you know, abortion and evolution mm. are taught as normal. Um, but I think that the best education and set up for life in terms of businesses and academia is still a Christian Christian-based education that's scripturally sound. And um, unfortunately, in the UK, we've come away from uh, the church in terms of education. We're completely secular in our education system, apart from church schools. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I think that you do very like great work. I really do enjoy listening Thank you. to your stuff. And I'm trying, I'm at Speaker's Corner, trying to uh, <laughs> challenge Islam regularly. That's but, um, I think until... Until the Holy Spirit moves, um, all, all you can do is plant a seed of doubt um, because Muslims believe they have good news. They believe that in the end, uh, Allah will take a mountain of sin from them and put it onto a Jew and a Christian. Uh, so they don't need any good news about the real Jesus Christ. They have Isa and they have Muhammad. But if you can, you're always planting seeds. I've heard uh, Muslims convert on your show. And I think that's such a blessing that on Judgment Day, I don't want to be standing there you know, explaining why I didn't try my best. Yeah. So, um, well, we do our best. And, uh, education Education, yeah. you see, uh, always we say a different people, they mix between education and degrees. Education is something yeah. you can start learning since you are like, you know, two or three years old child from your mama. You know, my mom, she teach me, uh, like I should not steal from the neighbors. Um, yeah. Backyard and apple. If she, my mom, she taught me, if I brought, if I come home and I say, Mom, I got this apple. She said to me, where do you get it from? I say, oh, from the tree of the neighbor. If my mom, she said to me, yeah, get more, get more. She just created a thief. If yeah. my mom, she said to me, shame on you. Put it back there. Yes. Then she just created a good person of me. So education yeah. is something we start since we start learning to say, Mom, mom and dad. This is the education, yeah. you know, how to... I think that true education can't be taught, if that makes any sense in English. Like, I think that true, truly to, to be the best person that you can be, and I don't mean in terms of, like, being thin or beautiful or any of those, like, Hollywood rubbish, but the true um, mark of a man is how uh, his relationship with God and how that manifests in his life to so that he's able to love his brothers and his enemies and if you have those two things, if you love God and you love people, you won't want to steal from them. You won't want to, um, you know, covet their property. You won't dishonor your parents. But that's an education of the heart rather than the brain. Because as we know, there are people with less intelligence, like for sure with um, some, you know, defect of their mind that are still just as godly as the best academic. Right. Or sometimes the academia is full of, you know, like uh, deviants and uh, people who are not very godly. So yeah. I think that the education has to come from the heart first. And then it's lovely to have a degree. It's lovely to be able to go to college if you if it's going to improve somebody else's life. Not If you think of others first and you want to become a doctor, then that's great because people are going to be healed. But if you're doing it for yourself or for your parents, it's not the answer because you're going to end up bitter and then that resentment is going to block you from God's, uh, you know, like grace. You're going to be angry all the time and then you're a murderer in your heart. And then it just, you know, I think it's difficult with children and the pressure from parents. But it's because they want the best, but, you know. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, the, uh, the parents, when they think about their children, they should uh, seek the best for their children, but they should not decide the future of their children. This is something they yeah, should, exactly. should, you know, like inspire, like what they want, what they like, and I help them to accomplish mm -hmm. something they like as long as it is good, you know. And what is good, yeah. it's not about a job I like him to do. 
it's about something as you said useful for community good for a, 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 a job which have a good manner good good service for community and if he is going yeah. to, like if i have a son he want to work in the garbage company what's my problem yeah you know money is only as good as the things that you can purchase with it like a rich man you could be the richest dead man in the cemetery and you've got nothing more than the poorest guy in the cemetery exactly even the poorest man he may have been the one to give his last pound to charity and like the similarly you know in the bible story he has given more than the guy who gives just a 10 percent and nothing more and he holds on to his wealth and then he dies alone but rich so it's the the true like we're told that we're storing up riches in heaven so if with money like i'm privileged to be in the west so if i can help somebody with my money and my time it's no good if i just give it's okay if i just give money but if i can give my time could be more important for somebody because money's not going to teach them about the love of god but when i'm you know if i can have one-to-one -one with somebody i can try to show them a better way because telling people you can you can't talk someone into jesus you can talk to them and then the holy spirit has to come and because otherwise it doesn't matter <clears throat> excuse me how rich you are <clears throat> it won't <clears throat> excuse me it won't be any good you you'll you'll still stand on judgment day and you can't buy your way out of that courtroom you can't offer god anything because none of us can offer him anything he doesn't need anything he doesn't you know he just desires the best for us and the best is him like the best is christ and we are in christ when christ is offering himself to the father so yeah education is important because we don't want everybody to be making poor decisions but common sense is much more valuable like to know a trickster like to know some if someone's trying to um you know give you dawa and you're listening you're thinking yeah that makes sense yeah yeah intellectually well wow, that's that's okay because they're not telling you the truth they're telling you the attractive part but not the the surah zaniya and the crazy hadith yeah. <laughs> they're not telling you that part but the truth will always um the truth is jesus christ so if you're if you've got the scripture and the heart for christianity you can't go wrong because god tells us that all things work to the good of those who are called according to his purpose so whether you're poor or even if you've got some job that you don't really like it you you can still look to your brother and think well at least i have a job like i'm not you know god will provide anyway even if you lose your job please god you don't but you know god's yeah. he's he, he wants us to turn to him for everything so that includes uh, money worries and you know but it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that you just put your hand out and you ask and you keep your fingers crossed you have to still you know make good decisions based on honesty and charity and stuff like that like you have to act and then god will help you you can't just sit and wait like a you know yeah. like a beggar yeah well thank you sister for calling and glad to have you thank you so much god bless you bye-bye take care all right take care bye-bye